Hello, ladies. Let's talk about the bloat. This is going to be a nice, quick video, but hopefully it will <laughs> tremendously help you. Make sure that you're applying right the knowledge because knowledge without application is useless. <clears throat> I'm going to pin this to the top of our Facebook group. Make sure you're there. Macro tracking and weightlifting for women. And then let's dive right in. Beautiful. All right, ladies. Great. So many times women feel like it's a food intolerance, but there's actually a lot of reasons you may be bloated. So I'm going to share some with you and then I'll also share some solutions. Lots of carbs the night prior, right? Your cells are attaining water. The scale goes up. You're super bloated and you feel like my body can't process carbs. This is crazy. It's like, actually, your cells just probably are retaining water. Don't worry about it. Give it a few days. <laughs> but you can obviously eat lots at night, right? Um, eating huge meals. Our bodies aren't really designed to eat these massive meals. That can definitely cause quite a bit of bloat. Having improper macros, right? Too much of a good thing, like protein, is still not a good thing. You know what I mean? So you really, of course, need the right macros because if you're tracking improper macros, it can definitely cause quite a bit of bloat. What else? Too little sleep. Isn't that crazy? Remember, fat loss occurs while we sleep. So how much sleep are you getting? I know when I don't get very good sleep, I definitely wake up bloated and I'm like, hey, scale, why'd you go up so much? It's very frustrating. <laughs> uh, menstrual cycle, right, ladies? Relax. It might just be your menstrual cycle. It doesn't feel good to go through, but it's not fat if you're following the basics. Follow the boring work, your habits, right? Getting enough sleep, eating high quality food, hitting your macros, getting your training session in. When you're focusing on the habits, A, your progress is naturally faster because you're not white knuckle gripping the result. But B, you know that you're controlling your controllables, right? So if you're doing the right thing when it comes to your habits, don't worry about the scale. Don't worry about the rest. It's going to catch up, right? Focus on your habits. What else? Too little or too much fiber. Typically, 25 grams of fiber is an awesome goal for most women. For some women, not all, if they hit like 40 grams of fiber, they're so bloated. They're so constipated. A few women we've had actually love 40 grams. And at 25 grams, they're bloated. They're constipated. They're not feeling great. Things like that. So. 25 grams is the ballpark, but then of course, know that it's okay if it's a little bit different for you. Bubbly drinks. Did you know that? Even like bubbly water. We tell our clients, well, some, not all, do not drink bubbly drinks two days before your check-in or your numbers will be so skewed because you're going to be super bloated. <laughs> High stress, right? It puts our gut, our intestines into fight or flight, and that can cause bloat as well. Okay. Here's some things that you can focus on. So check your fiber levels. I already told you a recommended level. Replace high fiber foods, not naturally occurring fiber, but like high fiber tortillas, right? High fiber this. A lot of that stuff came out during keto because it was like, you know, trying to keep fiber high and all these things. But ladies, for those of you who are eating a healthy diet, those high fiber foods, like fiber supplemented foods can actually cause you to go then into high fiber. So then you're feeling really bloated. So what we recommend instead is focus on your fruits, your vegetables, and your complex carbs, which what's the difference between a simple carb and a complex carb? The complex carb has more fiber, right? Slower to digest, more sustained energy instead of like bursts of energy, right? Like fruit and other simple carbohydrates. Okay. So just have your fiber be naturally occurring through your diet rather than needing to supplement. Uh, that can help a lot, a lot of women's bloat. Uh, we have seen this specific case many, 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 many times. <laughs> um, okay. This, of course, find what's best for you, but around, right, 100 ounces per day. Make sure you're really getting in your water. Meal sizes. This also varies per women. The 250 can be a snack for some. It may be a small meal for others. But if you're going into the, the like 800 calories per meal, you may want to think about that, right? Because then that may not really be best for your body. Going out to eat, special occasions, totally understandable. But consistently, right, let's aim for those smaller meals. Sleep over seven hours per night. 
for some of you, you might be like, oh yeah, I'm right there, six and a half. No, let's practice going to bed 10 minutes earlier and then 10 minutes earlier, then 10 minutes earlier to make up that 30 minutes. Your body will really thank you. Your results, your physique results um, will probably benefit a lot, honestly, from those 30 minutes. Your stress will benefit. So really focus on getting those seven hours. Okay. Awesome, ladies. Which one will you focus on today? <laughs> I would love to hear it, ladies. Chat with me. I, you know, I want I want to chat with you. Um, is there one of these that you're thinking? So here's the ones I said to do. Here's the ones that said maybe causing you to feel bloated. Is there one that's like, uh, I wonder if, if that's it. Let me focus on that one. I'd love to know so I can support you in that. Cool. And then also make sure that you are registered for our free event next week. I'll zoom this up. We're going to be walking through designing proper weightlifting programs to really help you create that fit, toned, feminine body that you love because workout programming is everything when it comes to your results, right? You get the fat off through nutrition. You build and shape your body through weightlifting. So as the fat's coming off through your macros, you're revealing what your training program is creating, right? So we're going to talk through that, some key pieces to have in place. Uh, we're also going to chat through uh, two different nutrition strategies that we know a lot of you guys have in place, but it's actually causing problems and slowing your results. So we want to help you unkink two common nutrition uh, strategies that are currently making you feel a little bit stuck, okay? So to be a part of that, go to queensofiron.com slash physique mastery. And we'll get you in there and uh, we'll have a great time. It's this coming Tuesday. So screenshot that if you need queensofiron.com slash physique mastery. Awesome, ladies. Cool. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day today. I'd love to hear any questions you have or any thoughts you have. Um, you're amazing as always. And uh, thank you for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Actually, I'll see you Friday. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs>